Hi, this is Hitesh and welcome to the NS3 video guide. Now we are trying to put up as many videos as possible and in this video we are going to talk about the installation of NS3. Now again I would recommend all of you to go through with the wiki of the installation of the NS3 that is on the nsnam.org website and that's really the ideal website to find any of the problem. Now believe me when you start with the installation it's not one of the easiest tasks to go on with that. But if you'll watch this video, I'll make sure that everything goes smooth and glide. Now, what you need to do, first of all, is you need to take a look at this command. Now, at first, this command might look a bit intimidating, but it's really not that much typical. It's really simple. Now, what you will do, what we have to do, first of all, in order to install NS3 is we need to install a couple of sub dependencies and libraries on which this package is going to build up smoothly. And a lot of Linux users will uh, not agree with this list because they'll say that I can work on with the NS3 with much less libraries, but that is not going to happen. So first of all, there are lots of people help me. First of all, John from the uh, Washington University helped me to figure out what are these libraries. I contacted him uh, through a research paper and he was really uh, kind enough to reply me. So we figured out a lot of libraries uh, that are necessary. Now a lo lot of Linux user will disagree from this list and there is a reason behind that. Since you are already a Linux user, you want to use her from maybe a couple of months or more and you have tried to install a couple of live uh, files like VLC or maybe Chrome, Firefox or such like that. So these files never get installed alone. They also take some dependencies and libraries and there are high chances that some of the files from this command might have actually already been downloaded onto your system. That's the only reason. Otherwise, you are always going to require these libraries to install at least the 3.20 version of NS3. So that's all about, uh, don't just worry about this command. I'll try to make sure that this command uh, is present at the description so that you can simply copy paste this command onto your Ubuntu. But before that, we need to figure out a couple of things. Let's try to move onto our Ubuntu screen so that we can install this. So here we are on to our Ubuntu screen and first of all what I'll do, I'll move on to my desktop and make sure that the desktop is in the caps, the D is in the caps. Once you are on the desktop, the very first thing is not to paste the copy paste that script. What you have to do, you have to first do a sudo apt get update. That's the really, really essential thing. If your systems and repositories are not updated, you will not be able to install uh, all of the libraries from that particular command. So first thing is really to update your system. Once you have got updated with your system, what are the next thing that you need to do? The next thing is to simply copy paste that particular command. Now what you have to do, you have to simply copy paste that particular command. And I guess that command should be in my system somewhere. And let me just check. Here it is. So here is that command which is onto our system. I'll make sure that this command is out here. Now here is again a reminder. All of these libraries combinedly takes in size of around 800 or maybe 900 MB. So make sure that you are patient enough to make sure that these all files get downloaded onto your system. If you are on a pretty average internet speed of around maybe uh, 800 kbps or 1 mbps, then it will take around two hours or so. Okay, so after that, once you have installed all of these libraries, then the next step comes up is to download this NS3 all-in-one package. You can simply download it from their website or you can get wget. Anyhow, you have to get the package of tar.bzip, which is an archive and it's just like a simple WinRAR. Here we use the bzip too. Okay, so the next step is to unzip the package. So I'll just use a tar hyphen. I'll just use xvf and then the package name that is ns all in one i'll make sure that it extract properly and uh, let's just wait for a few seconds it's going to take just a couple of moments to extract all of the files now the reason why it comes into a tarball is because of the size if you'll check out the size of this ns3 folder it's around 90 mb and the bzip package is only of 22 or 23 mb so that makes it really good once you are onto that folder, what you have to do, first of all, travel into the NS3 all-in-one, that package. 
Okay, one more thing that I'm missing out here is you should also have installed a Snaptic. So what you have to do, sudo apt, let me just move on here. sudo apt get install Snaptic. Now this is really one of the uh, charm to use with the Snaptic. You should have the Snaptic with you because there are some libraries which you may need to have installed with this. Once you will run this command, it will install the Snaptic for you. Once the Snaptic is out here, you can simply run this command sudo Snaptic and sometime it prompts for a password as well. Give it the password. And here you can simply type and install all the packages. But again, it's really a tiresome work. So make sure that you run the command to do all of the stuff. Okay, all the things so far so good. Let's do a quick ls. Here is a build.py file, which you can simply run and enable all of the files and all of these things. So before we run all of such things, we make sure that our examples and test files are enabled to being built up. And in order to do that, there are two requirements. One, you should be aware of the command. Second, you should have a lot of patience. So let's just run this. This is build.py. After that, you have to just give hyphen hyphen enable and you have to enable first of all the examples so it will compile all of the examples and i also want to enable the tests so i'll just write enable tests that's it you have to run these commands and make sure you have run the command the big command that i've shown you because without that your package will also compile but all the packages are not going to be compiled so if you are going to run your very first script it will prompt you lots of error and if all the things are compiled properly, then everything should work really, really fine. And you can see there is so far so good. All greens working very fine. And you can see all of the libraries are founding. Some are still not found and I'll make sure that I'll work out on it. But we'll be able to do all of our stuff with that. And now it's entering into the compilation mode and you can see here it's compiling 40 out of 2,308 scripts. So it is going to work on for each and every script. So make sure that you keep waiting here until it's done and we'll check out the next video for what to do next. <laughs>